Hey everyone, it's Dina Kalmeta here and welcome back to CWW7 News. For today's broadcast, I'd like to bring you guys an update and also address these headlines in regards to the United States, Russia, China, Japan, North Korea, and South Korea. There have been some pretty heated headlines in the last 24 hours. In fact, I'd like to start with this first headline in regards to South Korea dropping eight bombs on North Korea's border in a show of overwhelming force. Listen to this. South Korea's military has dropped eight heavy bombs near its border with the North in a show of what local media called overwhelming force following North Korea's latest missile test. South Korea's president ordered the strike by four F-15K fighter bombers at a firing range in the country's east to display a strong capability to punish North Korea if it were to attack. The MK-84 multi-purpose bomb is a 2,000-pound munition that can penetrate some 11 meters of earth and 11 feet of concrete. South Korea said all eight hit their targets at a testing ground on the country's own soil. The Yonhap News Agency said government officials wanted to show South Korea Korea's ability to overwhelm its belligerent neighbor in the case of all-out hostility. With that being said, let's move on to this report from Channel News Asia stating that China is warning that tensions have reached their tipping point. The foreign ministry spokeswoman urged all sides to avoid provocations and repeated Beijing's call for the North to suspend missile tests and return for a halt to U.S. South Korean military exercises. The situation is now at a tipping point, approaching a crisis. At the same time, there is an opportunity to reopen peace talks. We hope relevant parties can consider how we can de-escalate the situation on the peninsula and realize peace and stability on the peninsula. With China warning, Russia has also been on the move and has reportedly relocated thousands of people from its border with North Korea after the latest missile launch. Civil defense officials were ordered to shift 1,500 residents to safe areas, according to pro-Kremlin media outlets. Social media outlet MASH said this afternoon a verbal order was given to relocate 1,500 people to safe areas. The order came from the regional department of the Russian Ministry of Emergency. Russia, which has political and business ties to North Korea, shares a 24-mile land border with the reclusive country. It was unclear where the 1,500 were moved in the relocation, which was later described as a training exercise. But it appears to have been triggered by the launch of the missile over Japan last night. A source told the site a relocation scheme is being exercised as part of the training. Russia's deputy foreign minister said the country was extremely worried about the launch and the tendency towards an escalation. He also urged Kim to abide by UN Security Council resolutions regarding the state's missile program. He said regarding the launching of the missiles from North Korea, we stick to the resolutions of the United Nations. We insist on the fact that the North Koreans must respect their resolutions from the United Nations. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman last week warned the North Korean crisis could lead to World War III. It goes on further to state that U.S. President Donald Trump said he had received North Korea's latest message loud and clear and warned all options are on the table. He said this regime has signaled its contempt for its neighbors, for all members of the United Nations, and for minimum standards of acceptable international behavior. Threatening and destabilizing actions only increase the North Korean regime's isolation in the region and among all nations of the world. Fox News is reporting that the missile that North Korea launched was the first ever reported from Sunan, which is home to North Korea's international airport. Some outside observers wondered if North Korea had launched a road mobile missile from an airport runway, something South Korea's military couldn't immediately determine. The airport's runways could provide the ideal space to launch a road mobile missile like the Hwangsong-12, while also demonstrating that the North can launch its missiles from anywhere. North Korea, with no doubt, will be watching the world's reaction to see if it can use Tuesday's flight over Japan as a president 
for future launches. Any new test worries Washington and its allies because it puts the North a step closer toward its goal of an arsenal of nuclear missiles that can reliably target the United States. Tuesday's test, however, looks especially aggressive to Washington, South Korea, and Tokyo. And here is another very interesting report. The U.S. holds the second test flight of B-61-12 nuclear bomb over the Nevada desert. The U.S. National Nuclear Security Administration has revealed that it has conducted a second series of test flights involving an upgraded version of a nuclear bomb that has been part of the U.S. arsenal for decades. An F-15E from Nellis Air Force Base dropped in an inner version of the weapon over the Nevada desert earlier this month, as well as in March to test its non-nuclear functions, as well as the plane's ability to carry the bomb. Work on the B-61-12 has been ongoing for years, and government officials say the latest tests using mock versions of the bomb will be vital to the refurbishing effort. With a mere puff of the dust, the mock bomb landed in a dry lake bed at the test range. So basically, in a nutshell, to wrap up this broadcast, we have the United States testing mock nuclear bombs. We have the United States and South Korea continuing with exercises. South Korea is launching bombs on North Korea's border. We have North Korea shooting missiles into the air. Also, China is stating that we are at our tipping point, and Russia is removing citizens from the North Korean border. I would definitely say we are at the season of of wars and rumors of wars, if not at the beginning of World War III. I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about what's going on in the Korean Peninsula? Do you think that we are on the cusp of war right now as things are continuing to escalate? But I will definitely keep you guys updated as these reports continue to be developed. And um, please do come and visit me on Facebook where I have these stories and many more also on our website at www.cww7news.org. All right, you guys, I will see you in my next video. God bless.